This is the way I really feel about it, is that I'm within the music. It's not about me making the music, it's about me. And so all the time I'm talking and I'm, I'm in, in playing, in some ways I'm sort of asking for guidance. Not with any specific thing or anything in mind, just uh, uh, allowing the music to take over. To be that, that open to that kind of guidance is uh, not to get in the way, get, get out of the way. Do not let your mind get in the middle of this one, okay? Okay, this is about flow. <laughs> let the waters flow. very gradual process with me from uh, going to college, well actually even in high school, playing with different groups and all of a sudden the next thing I know I'm playing five and six nights a week, I'm supporting a family. Suddenly I realized this is what I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to play music. The most popular album over the years has been the Live at the Doubletree Inn album for many reasons. One, because of the popularity of the Inn itself while we were there, but also because of the diversity of the material that we, that we were doing at the time and the exposure to so many people from around the world. I think one of the biggest challenges for me in, in the profession that, that I'm in is the profession itself. Uh, there have been many changes in terms of the venues that one can play. Uh, the, the 30 years ago you were working five nights and six nights a week. Uh, now you're, you're, not, you're not able to find clubs that are established to play music all through the week. There's a lot more electronic stuff now going on. Uh, yeah, I, th I think that, 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 yeah, there's some challenges to it. Sometimes I, I, I get concerned when, when the word legend is used with me because I think of the legend of Sleepy Hollow and that guy's gone. <laughs> and and uh, I'm, I'm very honored by it. But again, to me, it's, I'm personifying what the music is to someone. And that, that's, that's fine. But I don't ever forget inside myself. It's not about me, it's about the music itself. I was practicing one time when I was really young. And I had a guy, old guy, standing there watching me. And he, all of a sudden, he says, hey, kid, do you know the most important thing about playing music? And of course, I'm indignant that this guy would interrupt me. I mean, and I said, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you know, fingers, your hands, your chops and everything. And he goes, no. And I, what do you mean, no? <laughs> he goes, listening. And I, of course, again, being young, I said, I listen. And he said, I didn't say hearing. I said, listening. And I said, what, what? And now I'm really intrigued. What's the difference between listening and hearing? And he said, you hear with your ears, but you listen with your whole being. Probably the greatest musical lesson I've ever had in my life. Music is not a career you take on because you're trying to be successful in the ordinary sense of the word successful. It has to be a love, it has to be a deep, and in fact it has to be a love that goes even beyond your own understanding of that love. It, you, you're committed without, without, without ever remember signing any papers for commitment, but you're, you're committed and, and, uh, uh, and at times you feel like you should be committed <laughs> before having picked that profession. But I think it, its rewards are far greater than its, than its uh, negative aspects.
terms of friendships, in terms of places, in, in terms of just exposure to other music. Um, uh, it's, it's been very good that way. No regrets. So I wish I'd practiced more. <laughs>